yeah, I'm totally selective about the kind of air that I buy. I only like to breathe Perrier brand air because it's purified. All the other brands taste like smog. Well, the real problem began two or three decades ago, but it can be traced back to the early 20th century. Eco-friendly alternatives were proposed, concepts that are strictly mandated in most countries today. During that time, though, people were reluctant to modify their lifestyles. It didn't have much of an effect. Looking back, it's ironic that at the same period of time, bottled water became a booming trend. Pollution in the water was unappetizing to drink, and soon bottled water was selling for $30 to $40 a bottle, twice or three times the cost of alcohol. Actually, I'm surprised no one thought of selling purified air sooner. Consider this. Billions of people live in their lives. They are concerned, concerned about peace, environment, etc. But most of all, they're concerned about themselves and their lives. My name is Rich Simons. I'm the CEO and owner of Pure Air Enterprises, the leading seller of purified air. My father came up with the idea of widespread purified air. He was a physician studying the effects of pollution at the time. Shortly after founding Pure Air Air, he died of lung cancer, his final testament of the dangers hidden in the air. While his idea was great, he failed to see the opportunity. Cheap, pure air. It's portable, safe, no toxins, chemicals, or cancer causing. Pollution went up, profits skyrocketed. Often we're asked why we didn't do anything to help stop pollution. People see us as successful and concerned. We did pay for some private research, but nothing more. It's quite simple, really. Once people stopped believing in the threat, our profits would drop steeply. The environment is important to us here at Perrier Air. I will make that clear. But then, in the end, it's all about the profits, isn't it?